In this Revit tutorial, I want to go over the basics of how you put in a standard ceiling. Right now, I am working with a basic rectilinear model that has walls, a floor, some windows and doors, but none of the rooms currently have uh, ceilings in them. If that's something that you want to do, and at some point in your model that certainly is, uh, what you're going to want to do is switch to the appropriate plan view. The important thing here is uh, that often people will be working on their floor plan, let's say level 1 or 2, whatever it might be, and they want to put a ceiling in here. What you actually need to do is go into your project browser, and activate your ceiling plan view. That's very important. So if I wanted to put um, a ceiling that was associated with level one, I will activate my level one ceiling plan view. It looks very similar, of course, to my floor plan view, but you'll see that I'm not actually able to see the, the doors or the windows because of um, the cut plane. So I'm actually above that right now. To put in a ceiling, we're going to go to the Architecture tab in the Build panel, and then we're going to select Ceiling. Once I've picked Ceiling, uh, the first thing I'll want to do is come over to the Properties palette and decide what kind of ceiling it's going to be. You'll see that we can do uh, Generic, 2x2 two two or 2x4 two acoustical ceiling tile, or gypsum wallboard on metal stud. Um, if I wanted to perhaps put in just, you know, a kind of plain drywall ceiling, I could pick this one. Generic would, you know, be fine too. And then I'll come down and I'll see that I'm in fact constrained to level one. That's what I want. And the height offset is coming in at eight feet. It's important to really pick where you want the ceiling ahead of time. It can be a little tricky to deal with afterwards. I might decide that, you know, eight feet isn't quite what I want. Maybe I want to make that um, 10 feet. So I could do that. You apply. And then I will put in either an automatic ceiling or sketch ceiling. If we look up at the green modify panel where it says place ceiling, you can either draw a ceiling in to whatever shape you want, uh, much like you do when you put in a floor, or you can do an automatic ceiling, which is actually pretty neat. So with an automatic ceiling, if I pick that, what I'm able to do now is come into any one of my closed rooms You'll see that I'm getting this red outline, and I can click inside the room and it will give me an automatic ceiling. So um, to demonstrate that, I will click inside of this room and maybe here. And well, I think that'll be good for now. Then I'll get out of it. And it doesn't really look like anything right now, especially because I put in a drywall ceiling. If I come to my project browser and go to my 3D view, You'll see if I just kind of spin around so you can take a look at it. These two rooms now have my drywall ceilings at 10 feet. I believe these walls are up at 15 feet, so that's why it's dropped down. So imagine we have some sort of uh, drop ceiling there. All right, so if I go back to the ceiling plan level one, and I want to put in a ceiling again, this time, maybe I'll do um, acoustic ceiling tile. So I'll come in to my type selector and I'll pick the 2x4 acoustic ceiling tile system. When I click in here this time, you'll see that there is a grid that appears. Once I uh, get those in place, I'll just click my modify tool to get out of that. And we now have that you know classic you know, acoustic ceiling tile system. If I wanted to make a change to this grid pattern, if I wanted to uh, rotate it, for example, uh, what I can do is click on one of those uh, lines there, and I could go in and I could grab my rotate tool from the modify panel, and then I can use the rotate tool. It's going to give me this pivot point right here where I clicked. I'll pick the guideline that I'm on and I'll swing it around 90 degrees and now this acoustic ceiling tile is going in the opposite direction. I could pick um, over on this side as well. 
pick my rotate tool and I could now rotate this uh, ceiling tile grid so it's going the other direction if that's something that you want. Now you'll see that uh, this has caused my ceiling tile to not be lined up anymore. If that's something I wanted, I could again go into the Modify panel and pick a line. And I could align perhaps the ceiling tile first with the one I want to stay and then the one I want to line up. So I could do it that way. Or I could even come in and say that, you know, I don't like these small little tiles that I have here. I could line up the wall first and then the ceiling tile. You can pick the wall and the ceiling tile. And so they line up a little bit more neatly. When you get these things lined up how you like them, don't forget you have the ability to constrain and lock them so that if the wall should move or change, the uh, ceiling tile grid would maintain that same relationship. So that's putting in ceilings with the automatic ceiling, both as a drywall or acoustic ceiling tile. Uh, but if we wanted to actually sketch the ceiling, that's something that you will frequently want to do. If we went to the Architecture tab and Ceiling again, this time I would pick Sketch Ceiling. You'll get a teal or aqua blue Modify Create Ceiling Boundary uh, tab just put in a floor. So this is once again a sketch-based element. So it has the same basic parameters. The real big difference, of course, is that this is a ceiling. It's going on the ceiling plan layer. Uh, what I could do is come in and either draw the shapes or use pick lines or something like that. Um, that's totally up to you. But perhaps I wanted to do uh, a ceiling maybe that had um, you know, a rectangular shape like this. And then maybe I wanted to um, you know, cut out a circle in it or... Um, you know, something like that, or maybe I'll do a couple, you know, maybe this is going to be, uh, uh, there's going to be big pendant lambs hanging through that, or who knows what. At any rate, once you get the shape that you like, and any closed shapes inside of it to create openings, you either have to hit the green check mark that says you want to keep it, or the red X that means you want to discard it. Remember, you can't move away from that tab um, and really do anything else until you actually resolve it. So if I hit that check mark and then I'll just click off of it, you'll see that here is my new ceiling. Now if I go into my 3D view and orbit around, you'll see that we have a few uh, different ceilings on this side and in our corridor space.